Man, I don't know what happened. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't oh, know I'm what back. happened. <laughs> Let me go. I don't know what happened. It's just been one thing after another when it comes to technology this week. Yes, yeah, and I know the storms, uh, storms been passing by. That's probably interfering with, the, you know. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, we're live again, and my streaming is just sucks. That's what it is too. Um, I, <laughs> it it does. I got AT and T, and they got the they got the worst streaming thing in the world, and you could, it's been doing it, and you know it's been real, uh, challenging. Real challenging. Um, so we just, just got to make do with what is going on. But what we're here to talk about, okay, I hope I don't screw it. See, it's real jumpy. What we're here to talk about today, we was on a webinar on Wednesday night, and we had uh, one of the, the marketing platform that we both belong to. We had a uh, lady named Diane Hawkman who was, She's like the biggest uh, earner, top earner in this platform. And she uh, she doesn't have a big email list. You know, you hear a lot online is uh, email marketing dead. And I think what that came from was when Manny Chat and stuff. Uh, Manny Chat is all right, but Manny Chat is real glitchy and difficult. It's like, you know, it's part of Facebook. And Facebook has been very glitchy and difficult lately <laughs> um, with its stuff, okay, with its updates. And, you know, application sites are always, um, they're glitchy. And with all the stuff that's going on with and people online, it's, it's, it's taxing the infrastructure of the digital um, foundation, of the internet and social media. What we're here to talk about, Diane Hawkman, she um, she's made more money in this platform with the with the smaller list. You know, you always hear people all talking about, well, I got a hundred thousand people on my list, or I got three thousand followers and all that. People, that does not that's not what gets you paid. Okay, that is not what gets you paid. Contrary to what everybody wants you to think, um, what gets you paid is the quality of the list. Okay, then I'm saying, I'm, it's, I'm sorry for this glitchy stuff. What did you get out of the, um, Kent, the, the webinar on Wednesday? What did you get out of that? I bet that you can, you can basically start, start your online marketing business anywhere, but it is, it is, substantial it's almost almost like a, a prerequisite if you will that you that you uh, that you need to start building your building your list um, as and and not just not just of course not just anyone but with with like-minded like-minded folks who want to obviously start their own home-based business or expand their home-based business. You want to build your, you want to build your list that so it's in con congruent to who you're marketing to. Okay, right. And you know, you hear a lot of people say the money's in the list, and it's true yeah. because you know that's the only thing you truly can take with you if you decide to sever the relationship with the network marketing affiliate company you're with. Because um, you can't take the downline, but you can take the, the the contacts that you have, and that's what the list is primarily doing. You could build anything. As long as you got that list, you could go and sell to that list all day long. See, that's the that's the the, uh, the asset of any business is their contacts and the list. Doesn't matter if it's network marketing, doesn't matter what business it is. And if you think about it, when we since we've been in this pandemic. A lot of you got a lot of emails from people if you were on their email list or their newsletter. 
they sent you information about that they're still open and how you can still patronize your business through curbside service. Like if you go to um, right. Kroger's here or Sam's Club or uh, Giant Ego, that's one here. If you're on any kind of email list or stuff, they will email you telling you as a customer, okay, that you can still patronize their store, that they're still open, they're still open for business. And, you know, that's how you keep uh, in contact with that list, those customers and clients. And, you you know, you build that type of um, clientele and relationship with that list. It's not so much how big it is. There's a lot of people got 100,000 people on their list and don't have anything going with it. You know, it's what's mm -hmm. the relationship, as Diane Hartman was talking about, it's the relationship that you have with that list that all that counts. It's not the number of it. It's the relationship you have with it. And that's what we got to get out of our head. There's too many people online mm -hmm. today are so much about the big numbers. You know, last time I knew zero from zero still means zero. Doesn't matter if you have 100,000 people and nobody's engaging, nobody, you're not moving any revenue. I can have two people and that's all I have, but you can have 100,000, I'm still doing better than you because I engage with the list that I have, okay? You can have 100,000, mm -hmm. nobody's engaging, nobody, zero from zero, still zero. You do the math, okay? So what, what, we, want, what we want you to understand is that um, that is a very important asset. Wouldn't you agree that, Kent? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You've got to, you, you've got to, if you're, I think, I think one of the things is that I've that I've learned not only from not only from uh, from you but in this business period, you um, when you're market when you are marketing, you just don't want to you. Uh, I know the masses say market to everybody, but in this business, you only want to market to your to your target audience. If you're marketing to every everyone. It's almost like you're you're marketing to to no one. Yeah, yeah, because you know, and you don't want to. You know, one of the biggest th complaints I have, and I'm gonna just say it in um, is LinkedIn. Now I've I've get engaged. I got people who look at my content on LinkedIn, but I tell them there's a lot of people on LinkedIn that the only reason why they connect with you is to sell you stuff. Okay. And I tell them straight up, why are you connecting with me? I ask them right. because every time I, a lot of times that I've connected with some people on LinkedIn, that's what they throw up in my face. Would you like this? I said, what on my, what on my profile made you think I need your service? Just because I, it says mm -hmm. entrepreneur or whatever network marketing, online marketing does not necessarily mean that I, ha I need anything that you have to sell. I mean, wouldn't you agree, Kent? I mean, a lot of people miss mistakes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I've I've gotten one actually got one actually on Instagram yes uh, yesterday asking if uh, if if I needed if I needed anything you know and I and I and I came back to to him like did did my profile indicate anything that I, I may need a, assistance from and uh the uh the young lady wasn't even wasn't even in uh wasn't what she was marketing wasn't even too congruent to what to what you you and i usually uh usually discuss or, or talk about on, on our platform yeah i mean they get this idea because you're in network marketing or you're in internet marketing or any type of business that what they're selling to you that you need. See, the biggest problem with most of these people, and they, they, a lot of them are young, and a lot of them are inexperienced, and then you try to tell them mm -hmm. that, then they get mad. Well, you can get mad, get glad, okay? For the simple fact is that you cannot make a sale to no one unless they need it. Sales is the basic thing is sales, okay? It's to solve a problem, to fill a need. If you can't do that, 
I don't give a shit how great your potion, lotion, coffee, brew. If I don't need it, I'm not going to buy it. Okay? You got to find out if there's a need in that market for that or whoever you're talking right. to. Don't, don't connect with me. I'm going to tell you straight up. If you're only people on LinkedIn, you'll see this, and I want you to see this. Do not, mark this down on your letter, do not connect with me only to sell me some of your mess. I don't need it. I don't need it. I'll let you know if I do. If you connected with me just to, if you're connecting with me to connect with me, and maybe it will come out that I may need some. We don't know, but don't do it just because you want to uh, lay into selling whatever uh, software or whatever. It ain't got nothing, look, it ain't got nothing to do just because you, I had somebody looked at my account and said, well, you don't have a lot of this and that. I got enough to do what I need to do. Just because I'm not 100,000 on LinkedIn or Facebook or whatever, I got enough audience to that probably all together is about 3,000 folks, okay? That, according to a lot of people, that's not a lot of big lists. I don't need 100,000 people, okay? In fact, I, I don't want, I don't need to be about around 100,000 people looking at, you know. I mean, if that happens, that's fine, but that's not my goal. I'm looking for specific folk that want to change their life, their business, or whatever. They want to get out of the job, whatever it is. That's what we're looking for, and it starts with the list, people. And we're not talking about spamming a list. We're talking about engaging with people that, that um, with some valuable information. I don't, you know, I, I, sometimes I hate to use the term with, you have to give value because that's an overused cliche term. I mean, it's true you have to bring some um, valuable information, but value-driven information is subjective. What may be valuable to one person may not be valuable to the other. And you as a marketer has to determine that. You know, the simplest thing to do, and we'll give you this tip, is to ask somebody if you if you meet them on Messenger or Facebook or whatever, and you have a good rapport with each other, and they're interested in maybe joining, you know, you you'll know. With your list, ask them would they want information. Um, that you come out with, because I come out with a blog every Friday, I said, would you want to be on my newsletter to get information? That's the simplest thing. And that's something I learned from Diane Hockman, being on a newsletter. You know, you get, if you get too many, you get to unsubscribe. There's an unsubscribe button on there. You know, people got a hang up about getting on um, newsletter or getting on funnels or whatever. Well, you know, especially some women that y'all subscribe to well, Ebony and Jet and all them other things back in the day, you know. I mean, what is your thought about that, Kent, about people and their hangups about that? You know. Uh, well, yeah, that's that's what the unsubscribe button is for. If 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 the content is not what uh, is not what you're looking for, all you have to do is just click on unsubscribe. Yeah. Uh, then then you go on with your day, you know. But you're not gonna you get like, every yeah. You're not going to get everything that I, I might put out that jive with you. But if 85% if, if of the stuff is mm -hmm. jive with you, if we have a talk and you know what I'm about and what, I, what kind of content stuff I put out and I ask you that, then more likely you're going to join. There's not going to be a lot of BS because I try to put out stuff that's right. relevant to life today. You know, a lot of people say, well, what do you, what can I talk about? Or what can I, what kind of content can I, uh, put together all the mess that's going on in today's world people the world is your canvas i've been saying this the world is your canvas like a painter the world nature is your canvas the trick is understanding how to tie life into business because business is life life is business if you understand that from that standpoint, it is easy to create content, people. You know, one of the things I hear people say that, I don't know what to talk about. I don't know what to, content to create. Life, life, man, live. Live your life. That's content. Right. Okay. Right. 
You guys right. act like you got to pull something out of the rabbit's hat to talk about. It's not about that, okay? This is why with your list, when you have a list where you can talk about something and maybe in a conversation with a particular person, it may be a valuable thing to them. That's why you ask people, do you, would you like to be on my, on my newsletter that you'll get? And, 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 I, and you, you can get information in on, on a blog that I send out every Friday. Most people say, yeah, it's a blog. It's a blog on content. You know, everybody knows what a blog is, okay? So it's those type of things that you need to be cons look at as far as your content marketing, your email marketing. No, email marketing is not dead. It may have, it's like everything in any business. Look what's happening now with business. We've had, a, we've had another disruption because of this pandemic. Okay, that's mm -hmm. all that's been happening. Um, it's just a bunch of stuff has changed in the climate right now. And we're both out here. Uh, everybody's trying to do everything. Even like, you know, we get got kicked off the, off the technology because there's so many people on the internet right now. There's so many people are right. running, they're working from home. And, our, and it's bad to say our infrastructure sucks, especially our digital infrastructure sucks. This, this is where we have, I, I, I'm pretty sure there's other people out here having problems. Are you having any problems with your stuff, Kent? Every now, every now and then I have to, I have to, I get, I get knocked off the, uh, I get knocked off the wireless. And it seems like two times out of the week, I have to I have to physically re reconnect to get to get back on the wireless. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. and, and you know, who do you have for wireless? AT and T. Yeah, I have AT and T. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. You know what? It's not. I don't think it's put a put a honestly. It's not that I don't think it's one that's better than the other because old time Warner claims they're so fast and everything. And you know, sometimes I think they put better. They will not tell you this, and y'all can take this as you want to take it, but let's be real. I think sometimes they put inferior product in certain ethnic groups more than the other. They'll never say that. I've said that to some of the techs. And, oh, no, it's the same quality. They're not going to tell you that. But how, why is it that some people have right. surface things than the other? They give you all this BS about, well, your house is old and how's this? I said, this house is older than me get better reception than I do. That's, that's BS. <laughs> Poor people on right. That's right. Okay? They, we live in a climate today, folks, that, businesses are seeing that job placement corporate america is saying that we don't need them okay honestly with technology what we're doing right now we do not need them like i said last week when we had michael mcdonald on there about you know uh nationwide insurance is getting rid of their um their office space because they're paying over a million dollars a month just to employ to have people in the office they change their business model, work from home. That saves them uh, um, $12 million a year. You know, so why spend the money somewhere like that and you don't have to? Then you can get better service. Um, one thing that's going to have to happen, you know, the, the internet, social media infrastructure is going to have to be revamped and, 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 and upgraded because if this is going to be the way, wave of the, more wave of the future. Right. Than be you know than any other time than there, and like I said, it's all. I just got a thing on front of my name now. Thing now it says internet unstable. Okay, um, it's just what the climate is. We've been saying this since March when we started doing these uh, panel sessions on my Sunset Sunday. That <clears throat> yes, they are. Places that are opening up in the United States, but it seems like, you know, the Southwest, Southeast is getting cases rising, and they may have to shut down again because they're opening up too soon. Ohio is not seem to be as affected 
because we've been taking precautions to open, how we open up different things. Not everything is opened up right now. Um, I went over to um, Easton and got, I got a little, if you follow me on Facebook, I got a little new addition to the family called Sneakers. Uh, another cat. He's only three months old. Okay. Was born March 28th. He's a pistol. I got a nickname for him, though. <laughs> yes, I call it. For those, for, for those of you who got sensitive ears, close them. I, his nickname is Little Motherfucker. Okay. Because he runs. <laughs> His real name is Sneakers, but his nickname is Little Motherfucker. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> okay. So it's all about, this is the big thing, you know. It's all about your list, folks. Um, what we want to do, too, um, if you've been following us anytime on since we've been doing this, we've been the platform that we belong to, um, been constructing these uh, five, 10 day challenges. What's a challenge? A challenge is to give you information and, and help you um, scale your business, whatever it may be in, whatever the challenge may be in. And we're coming up with another challenge on list building, okay? In this platform that we belong to. Now, there's two ways you can get you can get involved with this, okay? See, since me and Kent, we're already involved with the platform, um, we get this for free. Well, <laughs> basically, you're not getting it for a lot of cost if you want to join in. Okay, let's let's look at something here. Day experience and a simple formula to grow your email list and begin to build the number one term asset, long-term asset that can pay you for life. What they're talking about is building your email list, people. So email marketing is not dead, okay? Okay, shocking simple steps to grow your first email list that will give you more leverage, more sales, and more sign-up in less time than ever. Now, we're not talking about chasing people all over. See, the one thing that I, I hear people are talking about, you know, prospecting. I don't believe in prospecting. Okay? I stopped doing that. That's a term that they do in network marketing. I don't believe in prospecting no more. Your email list lets you automate some aspects of your business. And in this five-day challenge, let me move this over here. Ah, move this up here. Okay, this simple list leverage five-day challenge includes... This is on the first day, folks. How to set up your list quick and easy so you can start to get leads for your um, business. And that's what it's about. It's, the, it's, it's generating leads. That's what the list building is for. Day two, together you'll be getting or going to create a list, an email letter. So then when I said that, remember when I said that when you, when you meet with somebody to talk with them, you can get them to join on or subscribe to your email letter, your letter thing. Well, that's what they're, that's what they're talking about, okay? Day three, okay? How to build your list for hot market lists for your specific business and affiliate programs. So what they're talking about day three is that the people that are on your list, how to market to that list for any specific product or services that you may have from your network marketing company or your specific business, okay? That's what that list, part of that, we all learn on day three. Turbocharge your list on day four. This will be done for you offers and giveaway for quick cash and ultimate leverage. In this platform that we belong to, MLSP, they have done for you program services that you don't have to create that you can market to, market to your list, and, and so on and so on, okay? That's another way that you can start leveraging, say, think, quick cash, ultimate leverage, okay? The name of the game, people, in this business is leverage. 
there is no leverage in prospecting. Leverage is being able to do things and it keep working for you. That's leverage. Without you, you set it up once, it'll make money for you. That's leverage. Prospecting has no leverage aspect to it, okay? I don't care what your network marketing upline, downline, crossline tells you. When you prospect, that is on you to do every day and on the day. Who wants to do this? The days of chasing people online, as I've been saying, are over. And especially since we're in this daggone pandemic, ain't nobody going to do anything. I just listened to a guy named Steve Jaffe. He talked about that. He said, you have to learn to internet mark. Even if you are prospecting, it is dangerous today just to right. depend on your prospecting, chasing people in the hotel meetings, home meetings, parties. You need to learn the aspects of internet marketing. This is one of them, okay? Day five, legally swipe an email copy or write it yourself. Both work to get sales, signups in your company or in an affiliate. I don't know why they keep saying your company. Two things we need to clarify with folks. <clears throat> your company is you. Your network marketing company ain't your company. That's somebody else. You're just an affiliate sales rep for them. That's, that's I'm just keep it simple like that. Right. Okay? Right. All right. Let me go back here. Okay. Let me go back. I'm getting ahead. How much this cost? A dollar, people. Now, more the last few months we've been having challenges that cost a dollar. If you cannot see yourself to spend a dollar to learn to to build your list, then you need to get out of business. You need to get off. You need to get the hell off a line. A dollar. Most lattes cost more than that. And this is the value of what you're going to get. <clears throat> Okay, this five-day challenge right here, limitless DMO training, done for you lead generation campaigns to get ready to buy leads so you can get sales. Okay, well, let me read that again. Limitless leads DMO training plus done for you lead gen campaigns to get ready to buy leads. What that means is people who are ready to buy what you got to offer. That's a $297 value, okay? Sign-ups, reps, rank advancement. Rank advancement means in the affiliate. I wish they would quit putting in your company. Rank advance in your company. We've been talking about how network marketing ain't your company, and they still putting this thing on in your company. I need to talk to them about that. Let's get that straight. I'm, I'm, I'm saying this ain't your company unless you're talking about your online business, not the network marketing thing, okay? That's not your company. 40 courses to get prospects for your business. That's a $3,000, almost $4,000 value, folks. Now, here's a bonus that you're going to get in this training for a dollar, okay? One damn dollar. You get a bonus secrets and MLM secrets, $297 value. Other bonus, prospecting and recruiting for you guys who love to do that. I personally don't, but we're giving it to you as a bonus, another $279 value. Prospecting strangers and secrets. For you guys that like to do that, that's another $270 value. Customer relations manager. That's a, a software that you can monetize all your new leads. That is in the system. If you join us for this dollar, you get exposed to this whole system for 30 days plus coaching. I'm getting ahead a little bit ahead of myself, but I'm just putting that out there. Live daily coaching from six to seven figure network marketing top earners, daily action steps to get nine plus interested prospects per day for your opportunity via social media for free. How would you like to learn to get nine to 10 prospects for free? about spending ad spend. Ad spend is great, but a lot of people don't know how to do it. And you don't need to spend that much money. A lot of people waste money spending ad spend on social media. It's just, it's just another marketing scheme. But in this level one type of marketing, 
We don't advise you to do that right now. That's a thousand dollar value. Okay. One on one 60 minute coaching session plus three quick start PDFs to get a $497 value for leads. Okay. Lifetime access to our 20,000 member Facebook group community with hands on support to get your questions answered. They have training every day. If you join this and keep up with the, the, the subscription with this after the 30 days, which is only $45, let's say, let's say $50 a month after the $30 free. Okay. Don't get upset about that, people. You spend more money on stuff that you don't need. You want to say you want to move along in your business. You're going to have to learn to re, 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 reinvest your money in certain things. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. High converting, high paying MLSP affiliate programs to create priceless. Okay. This is what you got. You're going to have available for a dollar, people. Funnelizer. If some of you register to this webinar, you register into one on our funnels. It's a 300, that's a $300 a month that you'll get, including the registration. If you decide to stay with us, that will be included. Launch your own courses, team training site. That's also included if you decide after the 30 day trial, that's a $500 a month value. If you went and got them somewhere else, if you went and got us, Funnelizer thing, that could be $300 a month outside of this place or, or one of these at 500 That could be $500 a month. You get that including with the 30-day trial and the 45 and so on. This total value is almost $9,000, people. And you can get instant access right now, risk-free. And it's only a dollar, okay? One. It's only a dollar. What I will do in the comments, I'll leave a link where you can text me if you're interested. I would rather you text me if you're interested. That's showing me that you're interested in what we got to offer. I'm not going to leave this links out. Show me that you're interested in, in, in doing something like, like this for your business. Well, that go, and that goes for me too. Uh, norm, normally, I would. <laughs> leave a link but but I, I it's, it's like if you're putting it out there and you get no get no response people can come come at that in at any time but you know as as human nature if it's out of sight out of mind if you're really interested you can dm me you can reach out on my instagram you can reach out on the twitter or you can you can message message yeah you can message either one of them whoever you want to be um, exactly. connected with you know um this is what other people are saying about all this i know how to write letters to inspire leaders and get them to act now robert bennett i've bought every course diane has done i built a list of over 400 people oh, oh whoa bless you thank you um philosophy diane teaches with list building she also has a course in the back office of MLSP called, it's called Twist Your List. Interesting course. Can't say enough amazing things about Diane. You'll thank yourself for investment. And this is only a dollar. Now her Twist Your List, she'll probably be talking about a lot from her, that course <laughs> that you'll get for a dollar. Okay. And I don't know how much she's going to talk about it, but I'm just saying. Um, Doug, Firebug, Firebrog, no one on this planet can do what Diane Hockman does as she has taken copywriting and list building to a level that most people only dream of. These are people who've taken courses by her. So you can see what people think of this lady. Oh, come on. What's going on here? Ah. Okay, you can see what people are uh, think about this. Like I said, this is a $8,000, $9,000 value and bonuses that you're going to get. And this starts in three days. What's that? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. 
Wednesday. Actually, God, I think it's Thursday. Is it Wednesday or Thursday? Well, I believe it's Thursday. I believe it's Thursday. They're going to have a launch on Wednesday night. That's a free uh, thing you can join also. But if you're interested, I would join up now. Yeah, because they, yeah, it, it fills up pretty quick. Yeah. Really if you're interested in what's going on, I would join this up now. Um, because it's, um, it filled up and it's a lot of value. That, I mean, I've listened to her talk about some different things also. And she's going to give you, she's not going to bullshit. She's a fellow New Yorker, New Jersey, East Coast. She don't bullshit. She's going to tell you right what it's like. That may be an off-putting for some of y'all. I don't know. But I'm just going to let, let you know that she's going to tell you what you need to do and what you don't need to do. And she's not going to give a damn whether you like it or not, like I do. You know, we're just giving you straight facts on what, what needs to be. And like I said, no, you need to build a list. Your, uh, go ahead. You have something to say? Oh, I just said it is it is what it is. Straight up, not chasing. Yeah. And we're not talking about the list. Like in network market, traditional network market, they don't tell you write down a hundred of your best friends or family. Not. That's not the list we're talking about. We ain't talking about that list. We're talking about building a list through value driven marketing. And then you connect with them and then you either they either get on your list through a uh, a funnel through a product or service that you got. Or you ask them to join your newsletter. That's what we're trying to do. And specifically people that may be interested in a product or service. We're not talking about hundreds of family and friends. Bug that. That's old, out-of-date marketing that don't work. And right. I'm, the first, I'm the first to say that. We, you don't need to be doing that kind of marketing. The marketing that you need to be doing is the list building. Because let's face it, people, this is another scenario. Most people that I've talked to, the network marketing companies that they've been affiliated with, a lot of people have been on three, four, five different companies. Why is that? Okay. Every time you got a, every time you transfer to another network marketing company as a rep, it's like a job. You starting over from one, okay? If you build a list, you take that list and market to anybody you need to market to, no matter where you go. And nine times out of 10, most of the people that have jumped around from network marketing and network marketing company didn't have a list or a subscriber list so then they had to start over again right. about where well, I'm with this company. When you market with your list, they don't have to know that you're with another company. You can market anything, no matter what comes up. I market a whole lot of different things. Okay, a lot of you probably didn't even know that I was affiliated with an network marketing company. I don't talk about it that much because I don't market that up front. Okay, I mentioned some time from, uh, a couple of days ago, I have a uh, a line of sports nutrition products because I'm I'm into oh I've been into martial arts for a long time I run and you got to have certain minerals and vitamins and proteins to sustain all that kind of stuff. So I'm 61 years old, so you know I got to try to maintain. So if you want, you know, we don't say not to market your stuff, but this is my thing. This is what Diane Hawkman said. She said something about, you know, if people subscribe to your list, you market, you market what the hell you want to market. Because they subscribe to it. They got the option to unsubscribe. It's simple as that, people. You don't have to be on nobody's list. I don't advise you going on everybody's list. That's the biggest problem. A lot of times. People get on the list and they're not giving you any value from it. They're just selling you something just to be selling you something. We're trying to help people out here that want to be helped. That's why we do these, this Sunset Sunday thing that I've been doing since 2016. It started out just on my iPhone. Since this pandemic, I haven't done it with a panel. I brought in business partner, Kent, 
So we've been doing this for the last three months. Yes, indeed. Okay? So this is what this is what we do. You got to bring value to the market to get paid. It's not a job. It's not a job you go to and you get an hourly check which you don't control. We can write our own check by whatever what value that we bring to the marketplace. Not by going to a job. I'm not about not, not I'm not knocking jobs, but I'm just saying it's not about that. And and I'm gonna say this to the black and brown communities, you need it more than anybody. With with the with the COVID and you being out in the front lines exposed to different things. You hear about DL DL Hughley? Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, he got he got diagnosed. He passed out in Nashville, you know, because he's in those clubs, you know, exposing around a lot of people. Mm -hmm. You don't know, you know, just being a comedian is 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 putting yourself out there, and now you know it, they say he's doing fine. More prayers to him and his family, but it's just that. Those are the kind of things that you, when you're out there doing stuff like this, especially black or black folks and brown folks, we, you know what? I always, I, I, I'm gonna say this: the term "black folks" kind of is crazy because ain't nobody. Well, I don't say that, but most black <laughs> people are black. You know what I mean? Yeah. Ain't black, right. black like my damn laptop. Black mm -hmm. to me, black is not a black is not an ethnicity. What is wrong with African American? I don't want to get on the tangent on that, but I just like, and I hear, I hear the older ones that it went from Negro to, to what was it, Negro to Black, color, color mm -hmm. to Black to Negro, you know, all, it's all these different things, and Black folks and Brown folks, what are Brown people? What Brown people call Latinos? Well, I'm Brown. I might be a little light brown. I don't know. I just that I had to say something about that. <laughs> now it just and, and if if you want to get technical about it, I'm dark brown. You know? well, yeah, that's what I'm not. That's <laughs> my whole point. Where, where in the hell? Where, why do we make the the term African American wrong? We always talk about how our African ancestry. Our I have no I I. I you know, when it was first brought, well, of course, I was a, a young college kid when it was even first thought up. Don't have a problem with the term then, and I don't have a problem with the term now. That's you got, I'm you got good. other ethnic groups call themselves Asian American, Italian American, mm -hmm. Irish American. We are Americans. Okay, granted, some of us came on here on slave ship. Mm -hmm. So what? You still as some none of us came here on no slave. We don't know shit about no damn slave shit. We don't even know all everybody might not be descendants from slaves. I don't know. I'm just saying. But right, that right. I'm on that tangent right there. But mm -hmm. like I'm saying, we gotta it's it's words are powerful, people. I always thought, you know, sometimes I thought in this business, a lot of people think they said you overthink stuff. But no, I don't think you overthink stuff. You got to be real cognitive about what you say. Words have a lot of power to influence folks. Okay? As proven with all this stuff about Black Lives Matter, and then you get people get upset when somebody says all lives matter, right there tells you words got power. Exactly. Okay? Words got power. And this is why I talk about so much about when if these leaders in network market talking about your company and it's not your company you don't own the network marketing affiliate that you're with your company is you whatever you are your name or whatever what do you name it then that you just a rep for them company i'm gonna keep saying this over and over and over to it sink in till people get under understand you do not work for um, we don't work for uh, the companies that we're associated with. We don't work for uh, you. Don't work for Meta Luca. You don't work for New Skin. You are rep for him. That's not your company. You don't work for Avon. That's not your company. You're just a rep. 
I don't know why are we so much talking about my company. Is your name Mr. Avon? Is your name Mr. New Skin or whatever? If it's not, they ain't your company. So this is why you need to understand that it is up to you to market you out there, market your list or build a list so you can take that list anywhere in the country, anywhere in the world. See, your life, what, what we're trying to get you guys to understand, I got into this business not to have a job. Okay, you can say I'm lazy. I got lazy because I got tired of the, the neo boss who always wants to hover around you, micromanage fools. I said, after time, no, after Elias' dad, I said, I'm not working for nobody again, not even part-time. I don't even want to work for somebody from home. No offense, Kent. I'm just saying. No, I get what you're saying. A boss is a boss is a boss. A boss. A boss. And yeah. they want to try, you're not going to hold me captive even in my house. Okay? I wanted to, I wanted the, 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 the availability to work when I want to and get up when I want to. That's what my whole point is. As mm -hmm. Scott Michael used to say, I want to get up till, I want to sleep till I'm ready to get up. I don't want to sleep and be told I have to get up at a certain time. That's no way to live. I want to sleep till I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I, and I've, I've always loved that. Still love it, you know. You know, how, how many months sleep till you done? Hold on, hold on for a minute. I gotta go blow my nose. How does he it up? All you, right. You want to talk? Well, I'll get, I'll, yeah, I'll carry it, Greg. Yeah, and what Greg was saying, yeah. And and no, I took no offense because yeah, I do work. I do work from home, and. And, um, you know, during this, during this pan pandemic, I've been working from home since uh, March, March 18th, I believe. And due to some, due to, due to some office restructuring, we're going to be here. Uh, we're going to be working from home until, uh, until projected, uh, at, at least until, until late, late August. So I'm going to be here for a while, but uh, with the with the stems working from home, you're still under the same company guidelines. You're still under the same rules. While you are, uh, while you have signed, while you have signed on on your computer when when you work from home, and you have to follow same guidelines, same rules. You know, and I want to. Uh, Greg said he he's working not to go back to co corporate America, and I and I get that, and I. That's where I'm trying to get to. I'm working um, my home-based business, so when I when I do leave corporate America, I don't want to have to look back. With that said, yeah, yeah, people say, well, you got benefits and you got this, but they still they still they still own your time. They still own your time. You cannot you cannot uh, take uh, take a break until it's been assigned. You cannot leave unless you get permission to leave, even if it's for for an uh, for an emergency. So you're still under the you're still under the thumb, even though you're working from home. And the only way to get free, in my opinion, is is to build your build your business. And when you build it to a point where you have the financial wherewithal not to look back, then let it go. And I, we understand that it's not something something for everybody but i would challenge you challenge you on this if you think if you think it's not for you give it a try give it a try as someone as someone as we all know what say i won't say his name but what in the hell you got to lose no <laughs> give it a try give it a try i give say it, then yeah. you're supposed to do it yeah, i'll say this you got to you got to decide what you want, and the only way to, to live the way to live the way you say you want to live, if you're out here saying you want a lifestyle, a lifestyle is doing stuff when 
and how you want. What if, what if I could say to you out here with your list teaching you to invest or invest in this program that comes Wednesday by building a list of interested people what if that list could get you out of your job, even if it, if even if that list could match your income and replace your income of your job, then what would you say? If you could replace your current income, I challenge you. What to even come to the 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 challenge? I challenge you. If you're gonna learn to replace your current income out there, so you have the lifestyle to do what you want to do and how you want to do it. You know, everybody kept saying, well, I love my job. Nobody loves their job that bad. I don't give a shit what y'all say. Nobody loves their job that damn bad. If you had, you don't want to be cooped up with some of them people all that time. I, no. I don't really, even believe that. Now, if you really loved your job, you would do it for free. Yeah. Why, if you love it that, yeah, why don't you do it for free? You know? Nobody loves a J-O-B that, that much. Not today. Okay, you tell me you would not like to sleep till you're done, even if sleeping till you're done is what you get up currently till six o'clock. I'm talking about sleeping till you're done on your terms, not nobody else's terms out there, your own terms. That's what I'm talking about. This is what the entrepreneurial of the digital age of 2020 going into 2021 can do for you because we're going to, to we're ending in the first part of uh, the third quarter of business right now, okay? This is something you got to think about. We got to get business mindsets here, not employee mind. The one thing that has to change up here is from a, an employee to an entrepreneur. It has to go from here to here. It has to be part of, it has to be both entrepreneurial and not entrepreneurial from the standpoint of, of mom and pa, mom and pa's shop. It's not right. entrepreneurial where you got to work 12 and 16 hours a day. I may work two hours a day because I'm working on some things right now. Sometimes I may work four hours a week. Because two, I got stuff set up also. There's another thing we can, we can show you. You don't have to work. You know, I hear this, I hear this saying I thought was the most dumb I heard from some people that's supposed to be smart and supposed to have a lifestyle talking about I will work 15 hours or 20 something hours in my business than to work eight hours, something, something stupid in, in, in the job because they have a business. You don't get into a business just to work 15 hours. That's more. You tell me you don't, you will give up a cushy. 15, an eight hour job to work 15, 20 hours in, in your own business. Don't get getting, being an entrepreneur thing twisted. We're not talking about working 15 hours in your job. We're talking about even cutting that in half. We're talking about lifestyle where you don't have to report to nobody. Okay. Exactly. Don't 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 get the twisted stuff about well I would work fifteen hours or twenty five hours a day in my business and I'm working eight hours on a job. That's stupid as hell. Mm -hmm. That's the dumbest statement I have. That's as dumb as forty five talking about. Well, if we quit testing, we won't have a, we won't find see uh, a lot of cases. <laughs> Stop testing. Don't mean it's not no gonna be no cases. Fool. <laughs> Ooh, I swear the older I get, the dumber people sound to me a lot of times. Whoa, I mean, I heard him say that, and I heard him, re first I saw it in writing, then I actually heard him say that last night. <laughs> you got to be a special kind of stupid. This is what we got in the White House. But it was a joke, Craig. It was a joke. It oh, joke, a joke my ass. You know what no damn joke. <laughs> You know what? No damn joke. Anybody talk about injecting themselves with bleach? The <laughs> fuck out of here with that. A joke. Joke that. <laughs> I mean, you know, come on, people. It's no time to be stupid in America. Exactly. There's no time. We ain't got no time for that. We got enough fools 
trying to tell us what we should do. And bad to say it, you know, sometimes even the science commu community is, is kind of little, they tripping over each other's swans. Mm -hmm. What is a swan? Look it up. <laughs> Kid, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, you know, I know. <laughs> you know, they tripping over each other. So it's just, I just try to, I try to be, so I come from a family of people that had common sense. I have, I, I suppose, I look like an uncle of mine who's a great uncle that they say I favor some of his demeanors. He only had eighth grade education, but he knew how to count, count money and do stuff and always had money. Okay? So, he have all that trigonometry and all that other shit, which most of y'all probably out here got degrees in and can't put a down payment on a Twinkie. Okay, so with that being said, it ain't about all the education or the letters behind your name that count. A lot of y'all got think, you know, it's common sense with a lot of stuff. My grandparents, both sides, common sense, people. When get, don't get caught up in this system that was not designed for you to succeed in the first place. Okay? You know, you hear people talking about well, we need to fix the system. No, it is the way it is for the simple fact it's working the way it was supposed to be set up to work as. Do we understand that? Now, I guess there's, um, there was a comment that Robert Kiyosaki made, I guess, online. I don't know, something, I don't, I don't know what it was. I didn't hear it, but I'm not, I don't know what it was. I ain't know why I brought it up. You know, Dr. Boyce Watkins brought it up. On, on, yeah. on one of his things. But going back to what I'm saying, your list, that's your biggest asset that you got in building your business in today's market in the digital world is your list. Not this paper list, it's a digital list of value information that people subscribe to, that you give something in value back, they get on your email list and you market to them with some other stuff. That's what it is. And it's the most valuable asset that you're gonna have in your business, not your upline, not your downline, not even your 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 current customers. I mean, the customers and stuff that you have on your list. Okay, the people that you are marketing to now are on your list, not the ones you running around trying to convince. Forget them. I I ain't bother trying to convince nobody. To do nothing. Yeah. I ain't try. I I don't even try to convince people to all go out when we could go out dancing. I don't bother with that neither. I just go. No, you either, do, you either want to do something or you don't want to do something. It is straight, we're black and white with me, okay? I don't have time to mess around with folks. I'm only willing to deal with grown folks. I'm not trying, grown folks, I don't hold your hand. I give you the information that you go to and learn. Bruce Lee said, a teacher is not the keeper of the truth. You are. It is self-preservation itself taught is self-discovery that's the work you got to do folks if you depend on an upline or downline for your business you're in real hurt there's very few of them kind of people that are going to do that i'm not trying to be your upline i'm trying to give you information that will help you in your business i'll get paid based off of how many people i help doesn't necessarily mean i'm your upline okay you will have minty mentors I've had those. I have, I've had mentors that I've never met, okay? Mentor does not mean that you have to meet these people. I think Bruce Lee was a mentor of mine. I never met him. The mm -hmm. closest I met Bruce Lee was his number one student, Danny Inasanto. Anybody in the martial art world know who Danny Inasanto was? You remember the movie Game of Death? Where, him had, when, where they had the new Jakku fight battle? I met Danny Inasanto. So all you martial artists, who think Bruce Lee was just an actor and a dancer, think again. He was a real deal. Danny, I personally talked to Danny Inasanto about Bruce Lee. He said he was no joke. Everything you saw on the screen, he could do. And, and then some. So, but that's here and no there. But what I'm saying to you is that you have to be willing to put, you have to invest some time in yourself you ain't got nothing else to really do. Everything ain't open up. 
You can't. Hey, sports ain't on. There ain't damn thing. No baseball, damn basketball, and we might be saying damn the football in the fall. Might so be. What are you gonna do? All you, all you um, weekend wannabes, <laughs> warriors, or football people. What are you gonna do this year? They may not be no Ohio State football. They may not be none of that stuff. I'm not. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just saying. Hey, COVID has not left the, the the room. It is still here, kicking a lot of people in the gonads. Okay, so what are you gonna do? You might as well learn some skill sets. Um, a dollar. If you can't, I'm look. If you can't afford, that, don't talk to me. If you can't get up four quarters or hundred pennies, don't talk to me. <laughs> All right, I, I don't even want to hear it. That's, that's, that's a piss. I don't want to hear no more piss poor excuse why you can't. Time ain't a factor. Money ain't a factor. You just either lazy or you just want something given to you. That's our bottom line. Okay? You're worth, you are worth the investment, folks. You are worth the investment. You just got to decide if you want to put that investment in yourself. And you can't blame nobody but yourself. Everybody talk about, well, I look at it this one. I said this last week. If you can say the same thing about the vote, if you don't go out and vote, people say, if you don't go out and vote, you can't complain. Well, if you know there's a, if you know how to start our own business and people give you the door to walk through and you don't do it, you can't complain about the rich not paying taxes. So that's part of the game of entrepreneurship and the wealth wealthy you can't complain about um trump not paying taxes you can't complain about jeff bezos not paying taxes you can't complain about people like warren buffett and all that they play the game of the wealthy the tax code says they can the government says they can as we had talked about two sundays ago with dr lynn richardson okay that's what's available to you as a online business owner, a bit, any business owner. The easiest to, to do is being online. You don't have to worry about no brick and mortar, no licenses, none of all that crazy stuff. <clears throat> I try to get a friend of mine talking about she's an expert in nutrition. I said, you can monetize your education in nutrition by teaching stuff like that online. Well, don't you have a, no, you don't have to have a license for it. What would you have to have a license for it if you went to school to, 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 to monetize your expertise? You think you the only way you can monetize your expertise is in a job? Get the fuck out of here, people. There's too many of y'all got degrees and shit. You can't get a job in it, but you won't learn to monetize your stuff that you went to school for why'd you go to school for if you're not gonna monetize it waste a degree a degree today is my as about as worth as the shortage of toilet paper remember that when this stuff happened oh yeah all those shortages of toilet paper you guys have all a lot Ooh. of degrees you might as well use your degree to wipe your ass with because that's what the degree was worth <laughs> and that's what it's worth today. I know I'm stepping on some toes. I don't care. I know I'm stepping on some toes. That's my whole reason to do some of this. Because I, like I always say, those who get me, fine. Those who don't, still got. <laughs> you know, I, I ain't, ain't no shame in my game. Ain't no shame in my game. Okay? And, and that's what some people are going to tell you. They don't care if you don't show up to your job. They don't care if you drop dead at your job. Like I said at the end of my shows all the time, if you drop dead because you are 85% hyped up, don't like your job on Sunday nights, and more so now, and you drop dead tomorrow morning because you had a heart attack because you so stressed out going to that job that you hate, they'll replace your damn job and have your job in the paper before your obituary, folks. This is where we live it. 
This is the climate we live in, more so. Understand it. Come join us on, on, on Wednesday. Come, come. Let me know if y'all want to, you know, if you want to join the list building five-day challenge, let us know. Send us an email, instant message. You know where to give me. You've been following me. You've been following both of us. Right. So if you're interested in all this, let us know. It's about 10, 15. Um, you got any last words to say, Kent? Uh, if you like the, the like uh, the if, if you find value in this, like the video, share the video out. Uh, like Greg said, reach out to us on our on our uh, on our platforms. You can direct direct message us, email us, tweet us, or you know those who know us personally. Hey, send a text or or give a call. You know, Greg and I'll be happy to. To, to give you the 411. Yeah, we'll direct but, you to where you need to go with stuff like that. Don't be right. the looky lookies. Don't be the 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 cat looking behind the ball or looking behind the ball. Don't be that. Those are there, those that's irritating. I like I said, I just got a three-month-old cat, and that's what he does, playing around. Don't be that. <laughs> you got to put yourself out there, folks. Yeah, you're gonna have to learn some skill sets. Yes, you're going to have to market yourself out there if you want to make money. You had to do it to get a job. Wow, what, what's the difference from going out and getting a job than doing this? You still got to put yourself out there. What's the difference from chasing some chick than doing this? There's no difference. It's all what you want. Okay? It's all what you want. You got to decide what you want. We can't. We can all just, we're just a messenger. That's all we are. You know? It doesn't make no, you know, relationships in business are okay. I hear, well, I got in a discussion with some people about, well, should, is it important to build a relationship? Or, or you know, what was the, what was the thing? A, 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 a di what did they used to say in, in network marketing? A, a, a diamond ship is built or a direct ship is built off a relationship? Yes. No. I say a relationship is built off of who you help. Maybe, maybe not. Just because I, I use this other analogy. When, when HSN, QVC, all those companies, how much of a relationship do you have with the store that you shop at now, with the people that own them? Do you know them? We, we use so many cliche things. You don't have a relationship with us, but just seeing us. I mean, not a true relationship. The only relationship you got is hearing our voice and seeing us on the video. That's it. That's it. Okay. Now, it doesn't make us any difference whether, I mean, we're helping you. That's a relationship that way. But whether we ever meet or not, they, we may, we may not. But the whole point is in business, and this is what we're talking about, business, people get this twisted. Business is about making money. Plain and simple. Ain't no different than you guys going to your job. You got a relationship of getting up, six o'clock in the morning going to a job that you don't own but yet you got a problem you always talking about relationships in business you ain't got no relationship with that job but this going there so once you you know you build a relationship by helping people if i like i said if i bet you if i help you relation re, replace your income i bet we could be friends that's a relationship it's not the thing that you should mostly focus on. When I say about people on LinkedIn always connecting just to sell me something, that's not what I mean. You don't connect with me or anybody just to throw up your product or service on it. That's not even, a, that's nothing. You, you got an agenda. I mean, we, 
in truth, we do all have an agenda in business to make money. Of course. I ain't no shame in my game to make money, but I'm only going to do it to people that are interested that I can help. That's the difference. It's just not because you are breathing or you are in network marketing or affiliate marketing. I don't care. I can care less what you were doing. It doesn't, that don't make me don't know difference. You guys who do that are missing the whole point. That's not a relationship. That's a stalkership. <laughs> okay. I don't, I really don't give a shit what business you in. If I can help you scale it in some aspect, or whatever. If I can't, that's fine. I move on. I don't need everybody as a friend. I got probably a few friends on my hand I can count. The rest of a lot of people are associates. There you go. Okay. Everybody's not in your life, but only for a season. So a lot of people aren't in your life for a lifetime. That's, that's, that's the way it is. Mm -hmm. And we keep holding on to folks that are holding on to shit that really ain't no real reason right. to keep holding on to it. And if if you're one of those um, religious type people who believe in um, whatever, and then that your creator's trying to tell you, look, let go of that mess. I'm trying to tell you, let go. A lot of y'all, I a lot of y'all will probably say, well, I got to pray on. What do you need to pray on that hasn't already been presented to you? I don't get that. You got to pray. What are you going to pray on? What makes you think God or whatever you believe in ain't sent you to us for the simple fact of what you've been praying about? You've been praying for something and you see it come to you and then you're going to go home and turn around and say, well, I got to pray on it. That may, see, that's what I'm talking about. No common sense. That's what they call cognitive dissonance in people. No common sense. It doesn't make any sense, people. All right, I'm going to get off of here. It's 10, 15. I said what I got to say. You can follow us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. Follow us on Instagram, LinkedIn, whatever. Um, if you're interested in what we had to say tonight, that's cool. Hit us up. If you like and got value with this presentation that we do every Sunday at 8.45, hit us up, share it out. That being said, this is Greg Smith. This is Kent Robertson. I hope you all have a great rest of your Father's Day evening. Yeah, Tonight happy Father's, Father's Day, y'all. Happy Father's Day to the fathers that are here and the ones that have gone past over. With that being said, peace, take care. We're out of here. Please wash your hands. Code is still, still in charge. Some of y'all wash more than your hands. Yeah, that too. Stay safe, everybody.